Hello friends, this is Raj Sasir from Raj Option Trading. Today is October 15, 2021. We will talk about stocks that are down big this week. And we will talk look at stocks which are down this big this week and also low RSI. Then we will look at progressively better companies with nice sales growth and gross margin um, greater, than, greater than 40%. These are the companies that satisfy rule of 40 which are great stocks to buy. Then we'll take it a notch higher and look at the companies with the great sales growth, gross margin, and also profit margin greater than zero. These are the really profitable companies. We should be looking at buying these companies. Then we'll take it a notch higher and look at the profitable companies with the growth and also low debt. These are the best of the best. You should really buy these to grow your portfolio. So with that, first let's jump into Thinkorswim platform to look at the futures market. From a futures market perspective, as you can see here, today we are uh, going to be a up day today. The futures are indicating a nice, uh, I mean not so great, but a little bit better move here. Slight bounce as you can see here. Same story with the NASDAQ, also small bounce here. And same story with the Dow Jones Industrial Average as well as Russell. As you can see, Russell is a little more stronger here, um, which is a good sign. So really low caps are leading the way as you can see here. So with that, uh, let's jump in here and look at uh, stocks to buy. So with that, first we'll look at stocks that are down big this week and go from there. So these are the top stocks beaten down big time in five days. And volume is greater than 1 million shares. So these are really, you know, liquid stocks that you can look at. So as you look through here, we got top here, we got uh, Cypher, a little company here, $5. Market cap is about 1.5 billion. As you can see here, down big in five days and trying to turn around in one day. So even though there is no sales growth um, and gross margin, if you're a contrarian, you could uh, pick up stocks like CIFR, which is down big time and trying to turn around in one day. And then you can look at stocks like Vulcan here, as you can see a $7 stock. This one has not bottomed out yet, as you can see here. Could be a new IPO, we don't have 10 day as you can see here. If you're a contrarian, you could look at such stocks, but I would stick to a little bit uh, better place. So stocks like STIM here, Neuronetic, as you can see here, this has got a nice uh, sales growth and nice gross margin. You could stick to stocks like this one, even though it's a small market cap, 131 million, but still nice sales growth, nice gross margin. You could go after such candidates, even though it's all red, there is a hope this will go higher because there's a nice sales growth and gross margin satisfies rule of 40. And we've got a few more here as you look through here. Keep looking like CLLS here, $9 stock. Nice sales growth and gross margin here. And also low debt as you can see here. This is also a good one. You could look at this one too. And then we got a few, few other companies here. As you look through, we got Smile Direct, Shift4, one of my favorite stocks here, FinTech Play. Nice gross margin, nice uh, sales growth here. And as you scan through your net margin is barely negative right now. I'm sure they will make it. And then you got a few more here with the BYR and CRK and so on and so forth. As usual, as usual, keep watching what uh, institutions are doing. That's the opening bell. What institutions are doing, as an example, IRNT. There's institution buy here. That could be a good one here. You could buy along with the institution. Given there is a, uh, as you can look through here, uh, short ratio is not great, but still you could buy here. And then as you, as you scan through here, we got one more BKSY, high institution buy. And Raphael here, high institution buy, as well as insider buy. You could look at such stocks here and see if it's worth buying. Some of these stocks like Raphael here, uh, as you can scan through, okay, still low RSI, you could still buy it. And keep watching IV percentile here, a high IV percentile candidates like AMEH. You can sell some put options here and make some money that way. But um, right now RSI is also low, you could do that easily. And then as you scan through, we got one more here. Um, it's the same Raphael. Uh, Raphael, you could sell some put option as you can see here. Um, 
RFL, uh, high IV percentile, low RSI. The one we looked at earlier was AMEH. You could sell some put option there too. So with that, let's jump in here. Look at a few more. As you scan through here, these are all the stocks big down big time. As you look through weekly drop here, big drop here. And look at few good stocks like Cinemark is okay to buy now. There may be a hope that cinema theaters will open up. So nice sales growth here as you can see here. You could look at that one too. And then you got a few more here as you scan through. And we got here a little known company called Azac. This is into um, decking and uh, wood replacement in your decks. Stock has fallen off big time as you can see here. I still like this stock. You should uh, probably buy this, this stock because it's down big time great company as you can see here and one more of my favorite favorite stock which, which is down big time is Trax. it's in the same area they're also into uh, decks and replacement for wood i think that's also a good one here as you can look through here focus on stronger candidates here and take it from there and what we'll do next is we'll look we'll take it a notch higher and look at only top stocks where rule of 40 is satisfied these are stocks with a great uh, quarter over quarter sales growth and gross margin greater than 40 and also volume greater than 1 million shares these are stronger candidates if you do want to look at all the big drops instead focus on sales growth and gross margin these are the stocks for you as you look through here top you got stim we talked talked about this a low dollar stock here for the folks who don't want to buy high dollar stock this could be a good one for you as you scan through here um, nice gross margin nice gross margin nice sales growth and um, as you see here iv percentile it's a little high um, it's a four dollar stock so uh, don't can do too much with the put option unless you want to buy large quantity of put options you could make some money there i mean sell some put options rsi is low for you who want to buy uh, call options here you could buy call options in stim easily with the low rsi here um Oh, you, uh, you cannot buy uh, put call option right now because IV percentile is uh, high. I would wait a little bit, let the IV percentile cool down, but you could buy stock outright. So as you scan through, we got a few more here, CLLS, Smile Direct, Shift 4, and so on and so forth. Keep looking at um, the insider and institution uh, transactions here, BYRN, nice institution buy here. Insiders also buying slowly. You could buy this stock here as you can scan through here. Nice sales growth, nice gross margin, and also there is uh, not too much debt here. This is a good one. You could uh, buy this low dollar stock here and take it from there. As you scan through, we got a few more. There's a DTST data storage here. Nice institution buy. You could buy along with the institutions here and take it from there. RSI is also low here. And then look at the stocks which are turnaround candidates. For example, CLLS. It's trying to turn around as you can see here. That could be a good one. As you scan through, we got a few more with the turnaround candidates, AVTR, Eagle, and so on and so forth. You could look at such candidates which are turning around in one day or five day and buy them slowly. And look at what short ratio is here. A couple of them are high short ratio, like uh, sh you know, uh, shift four here, um, and even smile direct. You could uh, take advantage of this high short ratio and buy some shares and wait for a nice um, short swing. Given these are stronger candidates with a nice sales growth and gross margin. And we got a few more here, like Cinemark, we got MVIS, and few more with the high short ratio. These, these have also low RSI. These are the ideal candidates for you who are short squeezers, have a thrill of short squeezing. You could buy some of these and wait for a nice short squeeze. And we got a few more here with the rule of 40. As you scan, scan through here, we got uh, Southwest Airlines. After the whole news about um, their schedule impacts, I think stock has come down. You could buy some Southwest Airlines at, at here and make some um, money as you go forward. And we got uh, DBI. And we got a few more here as you can scan through. You could uh, buy some of these stocks here. As you look through here, some of the Chinese stocks are also coming up here. Online education plays, as you see here. Some of these stocks like uh, um, 
techdu as as tedu i think this may, may be a different one um, generally i think these are the great stocks to buy given there is a nice sales growth nice gross margin and also as you can scan through here stocks are down for five day good time to buy some of these stocks here and take it from there and let's look at next chart here these are the top stocks with the rule of 40 nice sales growth nice gross margin and also positive net margin i know many of you don't want to buy money losing companies these are the companies making profit right now not losing money so with that let's jump in here as you can scan through these are all the great companies with the rule of 40 nice sales growth and also keep looking at the net margin these companies are making money here they're not money losers so with that look look through here we got all these great companies and look at um, sales growth and gross margin net margin and also keep looking some of these have fallen big time in last five days good time to buy with a low rsi indicates you could buy some of these stocks at here and go from there as you scan through here we got uh, some of the great stocks uh, terex tex one of my favorite stocks here you could uh, buy terex slowly and uh, go from there and we got a few more here like uh, flws again a good one here and um, as you can scan through uh, replicen a great one here uh, you could buy some of these stocks here keep watching what insiders are doing dtst uh, institutions are buying that's a good one here and we got apam uh, insiders are buying big time you could buy this stock also here and look what stocks are doing in one day if they're turning around that's a good good sign here even though they're down in five day they're showing some turnaround um, like avtr here 37 dollars stock some of these are trying to turn around you could buy those turnaround candidates slowly and take it from there and we got on semiconductor here there's a semiconductor shortage as you know this could be a good play stock is down a little bit as you can see here you could buy this stock and take it from there and we got a few more here um, nice uh, profit margin nice sales growth as we scan through here crane one of my favorite stock here uh, it used to be a rocket ship here off late just a little bit down as you can see here but nice sales growth nice gross margin nice net margin you could buy the stock here and take it from there and we got a few more here i love g dot here green dot a fintech play here nice sales growth nice gross margin right nice net margin still low rsi you could buy stock like g dot and go from there and we got nxpi one of my favorite semiconductor stock here there they have a lot of exposure to autos down right now as you can see here you could take advantage of this company uh, it's a great uh, stock to buy and as you can sink through uh, scan through here we got some of my favorite chip stock like texas instruments down fintech fidelity down you could uh, take a look at these stocks here and buy them and take advantage some of the packaging stocks are down as you can see here with the pkg down um, right now rsi is low you could also look at that one and for you who want to sell some put options keep watching uh, iv percentile all these stocks with the red in the iv percentile are the great one for you to sell some put option here given the rsi levels are low for all these candidates as an example you could sell put options in deckers and we got here um, one more uh, rc rcii and we got a couple more here texas instruments this is a steady i mean fidelity here it's a good stock you could sell some put option here and we got one more which is uh uthr so with that let's look at few more here these are the top of the top uh, these have got rule of 40 nice sales growth nice gross margin positive net margin and also low debt this is really the top candidates you could uh, easily buy and hold it in your portfolio for a, for a while and have a nice ride so with that as you scan through here we got a dtst little company here 26 million dollar market cap can be easily manipulated as you can see here stock has fallen off keep watching here nice sales growth nice gross margin net margin positive debt equity is uh, very low meaning low debt on the balance sheet so stocks like this even though it's a low dollar stock you could buy some and sock it away given it's got nice uh, uh, characteristics here this can do well 
And we got a few more here as we scan through. Uh, Oshkosh, Replicant, one of my favorite stock here. Sneeder and GDOT, I love this stock. You could buy some of these stocks at this uh, low price here and take it from there. Keep watching inside the institutions. As an example, DTST, nice institution buy here. CFMS, nice institution buy. You could buy such stocks here, even BT, BT here. Um, the crypto, as you can see, here, it's bouncing around a little bit. I would uh, wait a little bit on BT, BT, given um, RSI is 55 here. But anytime BT, BT down, load up, uh, this always uh, goes up and down nicely, gives you nice uh, profit potential. And I love stocks like Teradyne here, great stock here, rocket ship. You could take advantage of this uh, drop here and buy some Teradyne. I also like uh, Cirrus Logic, that's a good one. Even Yelp is a good one. Manhattan is also a great stock, had been trading this for a while now. You could take advantage and go from there. Activision Blizzard gaming play video games. As you can scan through here, stock is down big here. You could take advantage and buy some Activision Blizzard and take it from there. So with that, uh, we got one more uh, chart here. As you scan through, I love stock like Vertex. It's a great stock. You know, it's trying to turn around now. Since last couple of months, it's been down big time. I would take advantage and buy some Vertex. It's a great stock, biotech. As a scan through, we got a few more. I love SEIC also. It's a great play here. Right now, stock is trying to turn around. Still, um, as you can see through, see here, a little bit lower RSI. So, you know, we got a few more here. Indian stock, in Infosys, and we got a few more. Um, these are all, you know, great stocks you could buy here. Given there's a nice uh, sales growth, nice profit margin, low debt, you can't go wrong with these stocks here. Uh, given their turn of bounce slowly here, you could take advantage. And uh, keep watching the IV percentile, stocks like Vertex here, you can still sell, sell some put option and even um, ROL here and make some money given IV percentile is higher. Even uh, PR, um, you know, PGNY, you could uh, <clears throat> sell some put option given RSI 75 as well as AVNS. So with that, these are the great stocks. I love even Pinterest here. Stock has been dropping a lot here, trying to improve now. You could buy some P Pinterest also. So with that, uh, you know, in general, you know, we got a little bit of supply chain shortage, um, semiconductor shortage, supply chain issues, and there is also um, probability of Fed tapering the buying program and inflation may be ticking higher. You know, be careful when the stock market is up big, you know, have some patience. Don't buy a lot of stocks, but when the stocks are down and the market is down big, that's when you jump in and buy some quality stocks. That's the way to grow portfolio. So with that, um, you know, this is a quick cheat sheet for you. Always look for a nice entry point um, when the RSI is low, less than 55, and also on the balance volume rising. That's a good time to buy stocks. You know, you could, you should wait for stock market to drop. That's when you pick up some favorite stocks and uh, load up. Um, when the stock market is rising right now, RSI generally trends higher. You could wait for it to drop. With that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.